What up guys, John from Mongo Fishing. Today is August 19th, I believe. It's like nine o'clock in the morning out on Thomas Lake. And uh, I'm gonna attempt the August mystery tackle box slam. So let's stick some lips. Fish guys. And there he goes. All right, so that lures down. Thank God, because I was getting frustrated with it. Next up, we're going to do the Bagley crankbait. The Bagley shallow balsa shad. Now. As I mentioned during the unboxing, these hooks are not very sharp. So if I lose some fish, we're gonna take a little time out and I'm gonna swap these hooks out. He hit as soon as it hit the water and I missed him. He's a little guy. See him in. Neither one of those hooks were in very good, but he stayed pinned because he had front and back hooks in him. Alright, so that's two. Both crankbaits are done. All right, let's do this swim bait. All right, motivated fishing, even keel swim bait hook, and uh, the big bite, big bite baits, swimming jerk minnow. guys number three let's take a break and retie set the hook and actually yank him out of the water on the hook set. Little guy. All right, that was the rage. So, down to the duck and the popper. Two baits, top waters at 11:30 in the morning. Pretty tough. Especially since one's a duck. All right, guys, I'm calling it a day. Starting to hear some thunder. 
and uh, even though it does, I don't, I mean, I don't see a storm, but I'm hearing it, so I'm thinking it's coming from that way. Um, so, time to get off the water. Hey, what up, guys? John from Mongo Fishing. I'm out of here on Thomas Lake again, attempting day two of the August Mystery Tackle Box Slam. Got two lures left, both top water, the duck and the popper. Let's stick some limbs. There we go. There's a fish. We actually hit right when I was about to pop it again. Oh, he's little. Here you go, guys. Guys, that was the popper. The last thing up is this duck. It's a duck. Close this video out. Let's go through bait by bait. What I liked, what I didn't like, what worked, what didn't work. Um, so what worked, what didn't work. Everything worked except for Danny the Duck, but we'll we'll get to that later. So first off, I guess let's go in the order uh, of how the baits were used and, and caught. Um, so let's start with the Max Lure Square Bill. That was uh, the Max Lure. Crank X, Max Lure Crank X. So, you know, I, I liked it. It's a nice little shad pattern. Also has a, a hint of bluegill, if you will, with that little yellow belly. Um, you know, I think the hooks are a little small for this, but they worked, they were sharp, caught a fish. So I can't, can't really complain that much. Uh, all in all, I think this will probably end up with a permanent spot in my, in my lineup with the change of hooks. So, that was the Max Lure Crank X. The Bagley, let's see, the Bagley was the Shallow Balsa Shad. I like the Shallow Balsa Shad. I like the color of the Shallow, shallow Balsa Shad. What I don't like is the hooks, again, but that's because these aren't sharp. I mean, they're pretty dull hooks. Um, they were dull. The first time I, I got one of these shallow balsa shads, and so the first thing I did with that last one, or not one of the first things, but one thing I did with that last one is change the hooks out. Um, so, as you saw in this video, I actually mentioned it, and so I actually brought hooks with me to change out just in case if I was unable to land a fish. I did lose one before I caught one, but you know, you, you want good sharp hooks, and these red hooks just are not sharp. Um, I mean, it's, it is what it is. Good crankbait. I'll use it again, but only after I swap out the hooks again, um, just for sharper hooks. I think size wise, the hooks have good size. They're just not sharp. Uh, let's see. After that, we went to the big bite baits, uh, Big bite bait swimming jerk minnow. I rigged it. In fact, I think it's in the box. Yeah. So I rigged it on a motivated fishing uh, even keel swim bait hook. You know, I, I personally love this swim bait hook. It works really, really well, especially in the situation that I had where I was throwing. Um, you know, I was I was throwing pretty much in open water. Right, there was no logs. There was no cover like that to get stuck on there was some grass and that was about it so in that situation I have no problem throwing an, uh, a jig head style swim bait hook you know something that has an exposed hook uh, so that's what I did again it worked great and uh, no complaints um, I'll end up using that again let's see then I went to then I went to the striking rage tail Twin tail menace grub. These little guys on the hard hat jigs, rear loader swing jig. So first off, swing head style jigs are really really good with craw baits, right? And this this little creature bait is you know imitating a crawdad or something similar. And these things are great. Yeah, well I mean. This little thing can be used as a trailer, but um, 
swing head jigs, I, I mean, I love to throw them with a crop bait or with a creature bait with uh, like a biffle bug or any sort of craw bait. Um, you really don't need to do much. You cast it out and literally just creep it back across the bottom with the occasional pop. And uh, just with that jointed style um, head, it gets a little more movement, a little more action. So um, both of these have earned permanent positions in my lineup. So I like those. I wasn't concerned with those catching fish at all, actually. Uh, you know, they're, it's just a good combo. Okay, then we had the Baker Lures Topwater Popper. Little shad pattern. Small, you know, two and a half inches long. Um, which the bait this time of year in central Arkansas waters are also extremely small. They're actually smaller than this. So a small popper is great to throw this time of year. So uh, I, had, I had confidence in this lure. I wasn't concerned that it wouldn't catch fish. It did take me until the second day, but that's because the first day, by the time I got throwing this, it was already pretty toasty out, you know, 11.30ish or so. Working top water is just not really the best time of day to be doing that. So, um, not saying you can't, I'm just saying that there's better times of day to do top waters. Um, so, the second day, I went out, and it didn't take very long to catch fish with it. So... Uh, I don't know if it'll earn a permanent position in my lineup only because there are other topwater baits that I prefer, but I will gladly throw it again. I know it's going to be a, a fish catching bait, so, and it's got sticky sharp hooks, which is imperative. And last but not least, Danny the Duck. So Danny the Duck was my nemesis bait. I was unsuccessful with Danny. I didn't even have a blow up with Danny, actually. Um, but I'm going to throw it again because I like it. And it's now become like a challenge bait where I am now challenged to catch a fish with a duck. Um, you know, I didn't have a problem with it. You throw this thing a mile. The only thing that, that I kind of didn't like is it takes on water, but so do most frog style baits. Uh, you know, it is what it is. Squeeze it out. You get to rocking and rolling again. Um, but, yeah. It certainly won't be something I'll go to as a, as a confidence bait. Only because I didn't have any blow-ups on it. But I will still continue to throw it occasionally because I'm bound and determined to catch a fish with this Weston Lures Danny the Duck. So, anyway. That's that, guys. That was, uh, that was my attempt at the mystery tackle box slam um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you do please give it a thumbs up if you're new to this channel please hit that subscribe buttons right down there looks like me holding a fish and drop a comment below if you attempted the slam were you successful and if not which bait got you which one was your Danny the duck anyway guys uh, as always thank you very much for watching get out on the water be safe and go stick some lips.